Hey guys, yesterday I made a video going over the impossible Easter egg on Shadows of Evil and I pretty much debunked one of the leads we were hanging on to for so many years. In that video, I mentioned that I would be making another video, which is this video, and I'll be talking about what kind of cipher this is, so that helps to narrow it down, and then also talking about some really important stuff Jason Blundell said about this impossible Easter egg and how this is the year that it's probably going to be solved. And in fact, if we band together, we might get this answer really, really really soon, and I'll talk more about that at the end of the video. First, I want to talk about the misconceptions around what kind of Easter egg this is. I see a lot of people in the community hunting, and they're looking in the wrong places. There was an interview that Jason Blundell did, and they did a video interview with him, and this was on Tech Insider, and this was months before the release of Black Ops 3 and also Shadows of Evil. This interview was done on August 21st, 2015, and Black Ops 3 released November 6th, 2015. When he did this interview, all we knew about was that there was going to be the giant and also Shadows of Evil. So there was only two maps that we were aware of. Of course, we're not going to know about the DLC, but yeah, they had announced those two maps at this point. And in this interview, he only shows screenshots of Shadows of Evil. He doesn't show any references to the giant when talking about this impossible Easter egg. So it's possible that this impossible Easter egg is just on Shadows of Evil. I know there's been speculation about maybe other maps and maybe even other games modes. I don't know if he would go that elaborate with this easter egg and they were also still working on DLC when he said this so those maps weren't done so I think it's just Shadows of Evil. And if you watch this video and listen to what he's saying and what they're showing he is talking all about ciphers and only ciphers. He talks about the ones in the past that we solved. He shows nine different cipher screens in the video. He was saying that he was getting frustrated with putting in ciphers and then we were breaking them very quickly and he showed Caesar ciphers, Morse code, oscilloscope ciphers, but he said that he kept putting in harder and harder easter eggs and we just kept breaking them. So at the end of the video he said going into Black Ops 3 I'm fed up now and I'm going to really put one in that you guys can't break and it'll be hidden in different arenas and you guys won't get this one. So with him showing nothing but ciphers and then saying he's going to put one in that we can't break like breaking the cipher and decoding it, then yeah, this is a cipher. So this is not an Easter egg that is going to be triggered. You're not going to go interact with anything. And we kind of already knew that, but he does reiterate that in an interview that he does with Mr. Dalek JD. Dalek got really lucky to get an interview with him and ask him about this impossible Easter egg. And he said, you know, we've seen purple meatballs on the map. We've seen some other interesting things happening on the map. And Jason was like, no, this is not that kind of Easter egg. Well, let me let me say this. One of the uh, one of the assumptions I make when we talk about you know big Easter eggs or things that, that are kind of hidden and other stuff that's going on, mm -hmm. uh, I assume that everyone is going to take the code, take yeah. the radiant, and take it apart. Uh huh. Which means anything that we could put in in script mm -hmm. and anything I could put in with radiant, I'm assuming you could just open it up and find it. Yeah. So if you're seeing anything and it looks like it's engineered, uh huh, you're probably off because uh, you'd have already found that by now. Okay. So the big clue is it's not engineered and we won't find it in the game files or even Radiant. And Radiant is what is used to build their game. And we got access to it with the mod tools on Black Ops 3. So yeah, we have the ability to completely rip that map and the game in half and see everything about it. And we have. The next part is really important. And it's where he mentions that in eight years, he will start talking about this impossible Easter egg and tell us what it is. I think... I may be talking about this in about another eight years time. And this eight years span for giving us Easter egg information is true. He's done this before. There was an old Easter egg in World at War within the character profiles pages. You take the first letter of each of the sentences, put it together, and it says the doctor wants the ultimate power, and then it says bastard. And World at War released 2008. Dalek made this video January 3rd, 2016. That's when he was given the information. It was right at the start of the year. So he lived up to that, giving information eight years later let's continue to listen you know you're the, you're the one who asked me for the world at war one yeah and that you know? was that was so how long years. did i hold that was eight years yeah and that was so simple yeah like looking back at it it's frustratingly simple yeah and i and it's one of those things where it wouldn't matter if you data mined it yeah because it, yeah. it didn't matter 
So right there, he's explaining what the impossible Easter egg is. It's that kind of Easter egg. You can't data mine it. So it's some kind of cipher hidden. Then the last thing he says is that he's going to put that information away in a vault. He's not going to talk about it for another eight years, but in eight years, he will. I'm, I'm going to put that away in a vault and talk to you again about it in, in eight years' time. Okay. And by then, we'll be old and growing beards. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> I think it was really fun, right, that, you know, you were talking to me and you were saying, Oh, we found them all. We found them all. I was like, oh, well, here's one then. And I was just like, what? You're like, what? <laughs> it's, just, um, it's so simple, but you just, it's just not something you think about. Yeah. I, I don't, here's the thing, you know, the, the kind of stuff they put in doesn't shake the earth, but I think for people who enjoy those type of things, mm -hmm. there's, there's stuff in They'll there. They'll get a kick out of yeah, it. Yeah, there's still stuff in there, yeah. Okay. What he just said there was pretty interesting. That might have been a clue. He's done that in the past with other ciphers. When asked about some that were unsolved on Voyage of Despair, he said, yeah, one of them is his favorite, but he doesn't want to say too much because he doesn't want to cause a rumble. That rumble was a clue to walking around waiting for your controller to vibrate. That's called rumble, and that was solved as a Braille cipher. It's the one that I actually did. At the end of that interview, he's saying the kind of stuff we put in doesn't shake the earth. That caught my attention because the rumors that are going around is that Shadows of Evil is actually Atlantis in this Dimension 63. And like I had shown in the previous video, Codename Pizza even made a video about this speculating that Atlantis was the backstory for Shadows of Evil, and he made that video when Shadows of Evil was released seven years ago. I go over all the information and the links to Atlantis in the previous video so I won't do that here. But the historical myth around the lost city of Atlantis is that it was destroyed by a great earthquake. So when he used the term shake the earth, that's not the normal term you would use. You would use groundbreaking. Groundbreaking means innovative, new information, something we didn't know about. Using the term shake the earth is not what people typically use. And he has a history of doing that, giving us little clues. So we'll see. Also, there's a voice line that is cut from Shadows of Evil where the characters talk about feeling an earthquake coming so I don't know and it may be nothing but I wanted to mention it just in case it is something because there are a lot of things pointing in the direction of this rumor so he's saying in eight years he's going to tell us what it is it's 2023 it released 2015 so the time has come for us to know what this is he delivered on the solve for that easter egg on world at war eight years later and he's telling us he's going to tell us what the impossible one is eight years later but Jason's no longer there so what do we do? I made a tweet to one of the Treyarch devs on January 15th, which was 115 day. I was hoping that they would be willing to give us some information in celebration of the day. I did get a response. His name is Kevin Drew. He said, sorry, I didn't work on Shadows, was busy with Black Ops 3 campaign and then ZNS, so I don't know much about it. Go to Mech Hyena. He might know. Mech Hyena is Mark Maestas. He's one of the other devs. He does some fabulous stuff for zombies. He says, we don't know all the EEs for operational security at the time. Time, but all the major ones involving steps and ciphers that I know about have been solved. That's not to say there isn't something still waiting to be found. I just don't know if there is, except then he goes on to say, never mind, someone did make a correct reference to the meteor mentioned in the phone call. I got nothing else for that map. So these two devs here have no idea what I'm talking about. And since Jason is not on social media and we have no idea where he is, it doesn't look like he's going to be giving us any clues this year. So I thought what we could do is I have made this tweet here and and I'm using hashtag impossible Easter egg. And I want everybody to go and comment and respond hashtag impossible Easter egg and see how many people we can get to respond to this. Anyone that comments on my tweet and responds hashtag impossible Easter egg, I will follow you on Twitter. I'm directing this tweet towards Treyarch, letting them know that Jason had said that he would tell us something about this Easter egg in eight years. And we are now upon that time. And I personally don't want the entire solve. I still want to be able to hunt this, but I would love to have some kind of clue to say, yes, the impossible Easter egg has not been solved. It's still out there. And here's a tiny little breadcrumb to get you started. If we can get enough people on board on this tweet to get their attention, maybe Treyarch will give us some kind of information and respond. And I'm not trying to get likes or retweets. I'm trying to get their attention. So if you could like it, retweet it, do whatever you can. Make sure you put hashtag impossible Easter egg. Can we even get that trending? Maybe. We'll see if they respond. If there's enough of us behind this, maybe they will. Hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you next video.